Uh, given this is the organizational meeting, the uh, town manager calls the meeting to order. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. This is the March 4th, 2021 select board meeting. As I've referenced, it's our organizational meeting following our town meeting. So I'm calling us to order at uh, 6.02. So our first order of business uh, is to... Um, Nominate a chair. That's it. So uh, we're going to, um, <laughs> I'll open the floor uh, for select board chair nominations. That'd be our first order of business. So the floor is open for select board chair nominations. I nominate. Uh, go uh, ahead. Sherry, go ahead. Yeah. Sherry, go ahead. I nominate Eric Rimmick for chair. I will, okay, so, I will second. Okay. We have uh, one nomination for Eric as the chair. We have Gary seconding. Do we have any other nominations from the floor? Okay. Seeing that there are no other nominations, I will close the nomination process. All those in favor of electing Eric Remick as the select board chair for one year ensuing uh, up to the next town meeting signify, or sorry, um, say uh, signify support by indicating aye. 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 Okay. aye. Um, any opposed? I think that was uh, unanimous. Did everybody indicate yes? Because sorry, I had a little overlap. Everybody was a yes. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the motion carries. Uh, Eric has been elected as the select board chair. Congratulations, Eric. I will turn the meeting over to you. Thank you. I'm not sure congratulations are in order, but <laughs> thank you for everyone for your um, vote of confidence, I guess. Um, so uh, first thing, I just want to say welcome to Gary and to Michael. Um, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Uh, um, so next up, we need a vice chair. Um, and <laughs> So I'm going to open the floor for nominations for vice chair. I nominate. I would nominate. Go ahead, Sherry. No, no. You, me again. you go ahead. You I will go nominate. I will nominate that young, vibrant Kaylee as vice chair. And I'll second that. Any other nominations for vice chair? Well, hearing none, all in favor of electing Kaylee as um, Kaylee Galloway Kane as vice chair, please signify by saying aye. 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 Okay, I just, that was everybody. So, uh, do I gain from that, Eric? You can do it <laughs> as you like. Well, I appreciate all of your support. I will abstain from that from voting on myself. <laughs> okay, so we had four in favor, one abstention, and that's everybody. So I'm not going to ask for nays. Thank you. Eric, can you tell me who made that motion? Because I can't only tell by voice. Oh, so that was Gary who made the motion. Sherry had the second. I got the second, but I can't be on the Zoom screen and my minutes at the same time. So I couldn't see who it was. So thank you. Um, you should ask your boss about getting another screen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So next up is, uh, oh boy, we have like three sets of minutes from, so um, let's do them, um, I guess, let's do them one at a time. Let's start with the regular minutes from the regular select board meeting which, um, from February 18th. Um, could we, uh, could we have a motion? Those? I move that we uh, accept those minutes, the minutes of as written. Second. So did anybody have any change? A motion is to accept them as written, but any discussion, comments, changes, or anything on those minutes? Rest. I, um, Sounds good to me. So all in favor of accepting the minutes as written, please say aye. 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 So I got four. Gary, are you, uh, did you say yeah, aye? Yeah, I you said you aye. I'll say aye. I, I, I don't know the minutes of that meeting, but I'll yeah, say so, aye. Yeah, so it's totally fine to just abstain if you want, because you don't know them, because you, you, you weren't there or whatever. Yeah, I was not there. 
So either way, you can. You I'll can abstain. Buy. Huh? Then I'll abstain from that vote. Okay. All right. Sounds good. So I'm counting four eyes, one abstention with Gary. Um, and so that'll, yeah, same situation for the next one. So next are meeting the, so we had on the 23rd, we had a public hearing for the uh, bond vote for the water waste, or sorry, for the wastewater bond. And we had a special select board meeting for the pre-town meeting. So uh, we do the, those together. Can I make sure. a motion that we accept the those two together? Okay. So moved. Second. Okay. All right. So Sherry moves. We accept them. Kaylee gives a second. And um, uh, any discussion on those minutes or any changes? Uh, all in favor of approving the minutes as written, please say aye. Aye. And I'll abstain. Okay. So I got four eyes and an abstention. Um, so Gary's abstaining, the rest of us are aye. All right, great. So that's all the minutes. Next is the set adjust agenda for this agenda that we're currently in. And um, does anybody have anything we need to add or change in this agenda? Hearing none. Uh, Kaylee, do we need to do anything with um, equity committee? Or should we do oh, that at yeah. the next meeting? Thank you, Sean. We should we should do that. Um, I can list those off. So Eric, could we add a point equity committee members? Uh, what Katie, are we Casey and I talked, yeah, just real quick, uh, Casey and I talked about it this afternoon, Kaylee, and we were not sure if we necessarily needed to do it at the organizational meeting, because if it's like other committees, we do that, uh, not necessarily at the organizational meeting, but if we want to get it accomplished, I know the task at hand was uh, some detail in regard to length of assignment and, you know, trying to get the stagger right, being that it's an organizational year. So just that's all I would offer. It's your preference. Yeah, whatever makes the most sense. Um, we are working on adjusting our our policy so we can wait until the next meeting that's that's fine our current policy says that those seats um are one year until the organizational meeting so but uh, uh, two weeks is not going to hurt i don't think so sorry is just so i understand this is to um approve a slate of um members of the committee okay yes okay good so uh, we're not doing that, but was there an economic development loan, Casey, that we needed to add or no? Not yet. Not yet. I'll answer for it. It's not yet. That'll be, okay. there'll be one coming up for March uh, 18. Okay. Never mind. Okay. How did we get to be in March so soon? Okay. So we're going to roll with the agenda we have. <clears throat> Kaylee, is that okay with equity committee? That's all right, right? Totally. Okay. Okay, and then you could get that list slate to everybody beforehand for that next meeting. Yeah, all right, good. That's good. All right, so rolling along, communication from the audience is next. I think we're a little uh, light in the audience uh, arena, but just to, in case I'm missing someone, does anybody have anything to communicate to the board? All right, rolling along. Item one is town appointments. And these are annual appointments that we do every year. Um, I think everybody should have the, the full list on the um, agenda. Um, but given that anybody watching is not gonna be seeing the agenda, seeing this list, I can read them off. Um, so, it's, uh, these are, so the people, all right, so there are people in positions listed, and this is, those are the people who were in those positions last year, right? Or, and or have agreed to be nominated for this year. You have it correct how you just said it. Okay. 
Uh, so, all right, so we have Aaron Cochran is the Civil Defense Emergency Management Coordinator. Um, we have a opening for the Town Energy Coordinator. Dean Mercier uh, for Animal Control Officer. Sherry Cornish for Central Vermont Solid Waste Management Representative. Sean Fielder as the Central Vermont Solid Waste Management District Alternate. Larry Hamill as the Town Service Officer. Wiz Dow as agent to convey real estate. Sherry Cornish as the board rep to uh, sign warrants. Sherry Cornish as the Neckhart's board rep. Paul Fix and Doug with Doug McClure as alternate as the NEK Communications Union District representative. They may have, uh, are they NEK broadband now? Or whatever, it's the same thing. Um, the, that's what I could find most recently, but I'll double check that as we go forward. Yeah, it's yeah, NEK broadband. Okay, thanks. Sorry for that error on the um, oh, notes, thanks, on Doug. the agenda. Um, and where was I? Eric Remick as the Hardwick Trails Committee rep. Eric Remick as the Lamoille Valley Rail Trails Committee rep. Emily Varvier, I'm not sure that I'm pronouncing that correctly, um, but who would be a new member to the Hardwick Rec Committee. Kaylee Galloway Kane as select board rep to the Hardwick Equity Committee. Sean Fielder is the town safety officer. Maya McCoy is a town website coordinator. We have an opening for town rep to NVDA. It was oh, I am willing to do it. It's just sometimes it really, it, it, they have their board meeting on the same night as our select board meeting. So if there's oh. someone out there who's not a select board member who would like to serve and can make more of those meetings than I can, they could certainly send a note to Sean and then we can talk about it. But for now, I'll, um, I'll say that I, I'm in that spot unless we yeah. find somebody else. They have a board meeting coming up on the 28th of March. So, okay. Uh, I can still do it. <clears throat> okay. Um, let me just read the, the last few here. Danny Hale as the Hardwick Woodbury Rail Trail rep uh, says, was Danny Hale. Um, I, I'll come back to that in a sec. Richard Broshu is the town health officer, um, which go, runs through till May 31st of this year, his current appointment. And then Sean Fielder is the deputy health officer. Um, Danny, on the Hardwick Woodbury Rail Trail, I did get an email back from Danny that he would be willing to continue to serve in the role, Eric. Oh, okay, great. Awesome. So, um, that leaves, we have an opening. Okay, so I will say that this is a great list um, and it's great that all the preparation has been done to um, make sure that people are willing to serve in all these roles. However, you know, our, our job is to actually appoint people. So if, so we can have discussion or if, you know, you know of other people who wanna serve or if anybody select board members wanna chance to serve on any of these things that other select board members have been serving on them. Now's the time to have that discussion. And we could also talk about what the description of some of those are, if anybody is interested in knowing. Um, although I'm, I can't say that I know what the town energy coordinator does at this point. Um, I think the seat has been empty for a couple of years, at least. Can't um, see. <clears throat> do it right yeah that's we, correct sherry that yeah been it's uh, um sorry go ahead Albert. Uh, sorry about that go ahead i i believe it got uh, the the position was f like created back when we were doing all that stuff around energy efficiency um and you know doing light bulb changes and public buildings and all kinds of stuff. And I don't know, I mean, certainly it's something that someone could take and run with and, and organize some other events around efficiency and stuff like that. But I don't know if it really has to exist even. Sean, did you talk to somebody at VLCT to see if it it's a role that other towns have or? There's a, there are a handful of communities that have the uh, position and um, 
Casey uh, did put a lot of effort into this um, last year and following just trying to get some feedback from the previous assignee to the role because we we didn't really have a, a description if you will of you know what it is we're actually looking for in this role so what I did uh, this last week was just some basic investigation of a handful of communities that uh, have this assignment and um, I didn't go forward on developing a detailed description for the position, but, uh, you know, some of the commentary is works to coordinate existing energy resources in town, uh, may study, evaluate sources of energy where alternatives um, may make for more efficient and economical utilization of existing and potential energy. You know, it's, it's basically looking at the uh, what facilities we have and how the town um, is uh, using energy, how our citizens are using energy, just trying to promote more efficient measures. That's it in a nutshell. Mm -hmm. So if, um, you know, if we have anybody out there in the community that is interested in serving, um, you know, what I'll do this next week is we'll get a more detailed description put together so we can post it, assuming the select board does want to go ahead with keeping the position in place. And we haven't been able to get somebody in the role, but I wouldn't want somebody, I wouldn't want folks to take that to mean it's not an important uh, right. uh, endeavor. Uh, you know, my observation is it is an important endeavor. Yeah, maybe there's somebody out there who's really um, excited and interested in figuring out, developing ways to get mm, electric charging stations and other efficient things going. Maybe somebody wants to help us work on that. So if the board is interested, as I said, uh, we can get a two or three sentence for, you know, three or four sentence description uh, put together and, um, and we can bounce it off the board. And then um, if, if uh, you know, folks are agreeable and we decide we want to, you know, keep this uh, assignment in the queue, then we would, uh, as we do with some of our other positions, we would get it up on the website, get it up on Front Porch Forum, uh, you know, pass the word, if you will. So just you give me some direction now and we'll go. You know, I think Sean, that you and Sherry had some really good commentary there. And I actually agree with Sherry when she first said, is this position really necessary? It was free all for the last year or two, you say? That's so correct. is it, is it necessary? Yeah, it's good. It's, it's a key question that has to be addressed. I wonder too, is, have we talked to HED at all about this role or do they have any history about it? Cause it seems like if, it seems like it really falls into their wheelhouse. I, I think it was maybe a little broader than just electrical energy and I, what I recall, <clears throat> but with, like Jerry said was about like efficiencies and, and town building right. was the focus. But we had, like Sherry said, we've done quite a bit over the last, I don't know, five or 10 yeah. years. I mean, that per, that uh, that individual helped organize the, like, when we did the inventory of all the street lights and all that stuff. Um, right. It, it's, it, I mean, there's some projects there, but you have to be um, kind of a self-starter, you know, and have an interest in it and be able to give it a little time. And it's volunteer for the most part, I think. I yeah. don't remember what's in the budget for it. I think it was like $50 or something. So that's not really, there's no skin off our back really, but. Um, Either way, unless we have somebody who really was a self-starter who saw ways that we could be more efficient. Right. So maybe we should post it. And then if we get no interest, then then we have to make a decision about it. No, we don't. We wouldn't have anybody to appoint. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, uh, I just want to sideline that one for a sec and go back to the town rep to the NVDA because I think that one is really important. The NVDA, it is. they yeah. do, they support us in a lot of ways and it's really important for the town to have representation there and to know what's going on yeah even if we're it's not part of hardwick what's going on in hardwick it's just good to know what other projects they're working on because then we can potentially see whether they would then you know it would somehow reflect on something that we could do in hardwick or could access or yeah that's right 
So it is important for somebody to go. I always feel bad when I can't make it because we have a select board meeting on the same night and I have to say, no, I can't go. But So could we post, we post those two open seats for now and then reevaluate if we get some interest? We sure could. I would say if Sherry or if anybody else is on the board, even on the board is interested, even though it means, you know, you can't go to all the NVDA, NVDA meetings because our board meetings conflict. I think it's still useful to have that kind of more direct connection of a select board member sitting on that uh, NVDA um, committee. So I don't know. What do you think, Sherry? I'm happy to do it. I just, I just felt like I should um, declare okay. that I can't always make it to the meeting because it sometimes um, is the same night as select board meeting. So, so what about what if we would you would you be willing? What if we um, um, appointed you to it tonight, but then still advertise for it? And if somebody comes out, you have an alternate or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah an alternate. Uh, yeah, that'd be great. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. All right. Eric, I've got a correcting point from um, Alberta um, updated me that um, we do need to check if the conveyor of real estate has to be an actual select board member. I know Wiz has volunteered, but uh, sorry, agent to convey real estate, excuse me. We're going to have yeah. to, I'll have to look into that. I didn't think it would be an issue, but Alberta's pointed out she's thinking it might have to actually be a select board member. Um, I'm I don't think it not. has to be a select board member. Um, in our town, it's the town clerk that does the conveyance. So we should definitely look into it. I just don't think it has to be a select board member, but it might have to be like a town affiliate sort of thing. Right. I think that for a while we had, when Karen Holmes was the zoning officer, she was also she that person, I believe. Yeah. Yep. So it might just yeah. be like they have to be a town employee or something to that worse. So that, that individual so. part goes to the tax sales, right? And do you have that in no. a nutshell? No. 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 <laughs> no, the, the, the key point of the, the key point of the agent to convey real estate is that like you guys have something coming up soon with someone who's interested in buying a piece of property off the town. It would have to be the agent to convey real estate that actually signs that deed. Oh. So there's a li it's a little more in depth. What Karen did as town agent was represent us oh, at a tax sale. I see. Um, but but this in this in this in effect is actually when or like if we sell a cemetery plot in Sanborn Cemetery, it is in effect that person that is signing off on the sale of a piece of property. That's what this particular office is, in, is doing. So that's why I think it has to be a select board member, but I will, you know, I, I'm happy to help Sean figure that out. Okay. Okay, so that adds a little- uh... Nuance. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's a good word. <laughs> um, yeah, so what if, um, okay, so do we want to leave that one open for now and come back to it last next time with when we know? Yeah. That, that would allow me to, and Alberta, just to do some research on um, the uh, state statutes and just make sure we're on target. Yeah. As I'm not aware as... of anything in the next couple of weeks that has to be signed off on. No. Okay. So as long as, Sean, you help us remember to come back to it next time. Yeah. Just okay. Alberta, is that okay? You think how, what we just outlined here, that would work, right? She might have lost her connection. Oh, there she is. Yeah. Okay. Good. She says yes. Okay. Thank you. Um, all right, so sweeping that one off um, and we don't have anyone for the town energy coordinator and Sherry's willing to be the town rep to NVDA, correct? Mm -hmm. So um, the Here. list, 
Can I offer just a clarifying point here yeah. on the uh, Hardwick Recreation Committee? It's one of those assignments that generally would also take place in a regular meeting, not necessarily yep. as part of an organizational meeting. But I, if we want to just get this one plugged in there this evening, I, I think that would be a good idea. Um, sure. I didn't do this update yet. And just while I have the audience, we do have uh, Jason Boehner, who is from town, has been assigned as the part-time recreation coordinator. And um, Emily is uh, interested. Just that's a side note on a position change, which we'll get updates out on. He just started this week. Emily is uh, was involved, uh, you know, with that process of uh, seeking out the position and is interested in continuing to serve the Hardwick Recreation Committee. So, we got a nice letter, um, you know, outlining her skill set. And uh, I mean, I can read it back if you're interested. It, uh, but it's in our folder. Ahead. Okay, good. Sorry, yes. sorry, I forgot about that. You've seen it, so yeah. That's it, just to make sure we're on the same pages. Why is that in there right now? Got it. So I'm gonna say, let's take the list as I read it and we're gonna amend it such that we're gonna remove the town energy coordinator because we don't have, for now, we're gonna put it aside. We're going to put aside the agent to convey real estate and we're, for town represented NVDA. I'm gonna add an alternate. Yeah, add an alternate. We're gonna have, we're gonna point Sherry, but we're gonna, next time we'll add an alternate. Oh, okay. But we're at the point you tonight. Okay. If everybody's agreeable, is that okay? Yep. All right, so any discussion on that slate Do you want so, a motion? I'd love I'd love a motion to accept to nominate all those people as a slate. It's not <laughs> moved. I'll second that. Okay, so we have Sherry with a motion, Gary with a second. Any more discussion? All in favor, please say aye. All right. Aye. 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 Okay, that's five ayes. So thank you, everyone. Motion passes. And we have nearly all our town appointments to our annual appointments done all right next item uh it as always on our on our organizational meeting is to establish a select board calendar for our meetings so historically we've met the first and third thursdays of every month at 6 p.m except the thursday that falls closest to the fourth of july which we take off and that's usually our the way what we've done historically however just because we that's what we've done in the past doesn't mean that's what we need to do in the future so if anybody mm -hmm. wants i'm sure sherry, sherry can i'm just waiting for my traditional plea to make the meeting time um six maybe six thirty <laughs> but i know it never happens so i'm okay so i have we, no problem with that I'm just excited that you guys get a week off. Yeah, I know. We get a week off, yeah. but we make up for it. In I didn't budget know that season. when I ran for this. But we, we yeah. make up for it in budget season often. I'm sure, but 6.30 doesn't bother me. Yeah, the town staff doesn't like it because it means they have to stay. But when, yeah, but half this year we're going to be in Zoom meetings anyway, but I'm just saying it's all right. I know everybody wants to do it at six because the day is shorter or whatever, but yada, yada, yada. Just I know. pray that Daryl never leaves Hardwick because I'll have to start closing the store early and then that'll just make me cranky. Grumpy. Cranky. Mm -hmm. yeah. Duly noted. Yeah. If we made a commitment to finishing meetings, Back. A little earlier, yes. we could. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. If we take the half hour off the back end. Oh, there you go. That's not going to happen. Come on. You just elected the same chair, so <laughs> it's unlikely you can drive it any faster. Um. Well, it's up to. Uh, how about let's start with this? Are the first and third Thursdays typically is that an okay schedule for? For folks. Kaylee's giving a thumbs up. So Sherry. Michael's nodding. Gary. Yes. 
Thursdays, first and third Thursdays. Is that generally okay with you? That's good. So Eric, um, the way that the calendar works for this July, the first is on a Thursday and the, the, the actual first of July falls on a Thursday. The week of July 4th is uh, kind of the next week. So, you know, we'd have to look at uh, if we drop a week. I don't know that we necessarily need uh, to is my point. Yeah, we do. <laughs> so we probably drop the one that's, the first. Um, yeah, drop the, so we just have a meeting on July 15th. Is that correct? Yeah. I mean, that's we can always, third Thursday. we can always change it, but we just need to set a schedule that's like our regularly scheduled meetings. We can always add that one back in as a special meeting if there's some reason we need it, but it's, I think it's kind of nice to have, have that. Oh yeah, I agree with you. I wasn't advocating not have a break. Okay. I don't know. And for January of 2022, uh, January 6th is the uh, first Thursday and then January 20. Okay. Sometimes around New Year's, this year was squirrely. Sometimes around New Year's, it's oh. a little bit uh, problematic, but I think those dates fall pretty good this year for January 2022. Let's do it. All right. So I would advocate I'm all trying to balance everything. Like Sherry said, she'd like to start later. The town staff would probably like to start earlier. Um, so in the past, we've come up with six as a middle ground. We'll just stay at six o'clock, I know. Okay. <laughs> all right. So how about a motion to set, or, set a calendar for the regular select boards to be the first and third Thursday of every month at 6 p.m. excepting the first of July. So I make a motion that oh. we uh <laughs> no go ahead. No you got it Gary. All right I make a motion that for the first and third Thursdays of every month at six o'clock except for the first of July. First of July that we hold our select board meetings. Perfect. Do we have a second to that? I can second that. Thank you, Kaylee. All right, any more discussion about um, our calendar? That just means uh, there's just one meeting in July and that will yep. occur on Thursday, July 15th, just so I'm right. understanding this. Okay, got it. Yep. All in favor, please say aye. All right. Aye. Aye. All right. That's everyone. I just have heard five. Heard and saw. So great. That's awesome. Thank you. That's the calendar. Next is Alberta. Uh, item three, Alberta has a couple of liquor licenses for us. I think they are Jiffy Mart and E&L. E&L Beverage East Hardwick. Yep. Both are second class licenses. And um, and you put in the you put a note in there that said we have had no complaints about either one. Correct. Yep. No violations on file with us. Great. I can make a motion to approve a second class license for GSB LLC, which is DBA DNL Beverage and Global Mantella Group, which is DBA Jiffy Mart Number Four Fifty Seven. I'd second that. All right. So we have Kaylee with a motion, Michael with a second. Any discussion about the approving liquor licenses? <laughs> Sorry, what was that? All right. So all in favor of approving liquor licenses, please say aye. All right. Aye. 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 All right. That's five. So Unanimous. Thank you, Alberta, for bringing those. Um, and nearing Thank the you. end here on this blessedly short meeting, we have. Um, oh, but I'm don't group them think together. it's done yet. Okay, I'm going to group them together, though, if, if that's okay. Or do you not want me to? Oh, I don't know. I have two things. Select okay, so reports and then new business. So select board. Re okay, select board reports. New business or old business? I'm just going to lump them together so i'll just say <laughs> yeah sure, I had go. A select board report from the solid waste district meeting just last night that went quite long um oh. 
but it was exciting that uh, the board approved a grant through the, I don't know what it stands for, O-W-R-R-P, I can't remember what it stands for, but anyway, it's a grant going to Black Dirt Farm for their organization of a um, residential compost pickup. Oh. So maybe at some point in the next couple of months, we'll see more about that um, because yeah, hopefully they're, they're pulling that together. They had a really good uh, business plan for it. It seemed like it could really work um, and might help a lot of people deal with the compost situation. Um, and awesome. they also approved the, um, the site, the Wilson Industrial Park for the potentially for the HHW, the Household Hazardous Waste um, Collection uh, facility that they're uh, looking to build. And so where is that? It's in where? Barrie somewhere, Wilson Industrial oh. Park. I'm not sure. It's in Barrie uh, though. It's central. I think so. it's actually up in Barrie Town in Graniteville where the current drop-off is located, uh, up near where they put the snow plows on. I don't know the name of the company, specific Pittman Road. Right off of there. Yeah, that may be true. Uh, yeah, hmm. I wasn't familiar with it. But the tr uh, the the thing about household hazardous waste is because Hardwick is um, so far away from that, we still qualify for um, those events that they do, and as part of the deal. But it'll still be kind of yeah. It's interesting. They're moving forward on it. It's a big deal. So that's my solid waste district report. Thank Thank you. I have a question. Um, is it the solid waste management district that is giving the grant to Dirt Black Farm? Yeah. So, uh, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Black Dirt Farm is getting um, a grant from their, yeah, I can't remember, but it's it's their fund that's OWRRP, uh, something about reclaiming recyclable materials, but I can't remember what it stands for, sorry. You know, oh. they have all these different, what are those acronyms or something? I can't keep mm -hmm. them straight. And, but that, that's great because we had a, quite a lot of feedback when the, the downtown um, compost drop-off went away. A mm -hmm. bunch of people um, came to the select board and wanted us to do something about that, which yeah. we said, you know, if somebody wants to organize it and do it, then yeah. we'll be supportive, but nobody wanted to organize. So and it's great. And all the while, that... I think Black Dirt Farm was trying to figure out how to do this. And they've got a couple of business models now for residential pickup. It's not free, you know? So of course there'll be some people that won't be able to do it just because they won't be able to afford it. But maybe there's some other, you know, avenue that we could look at to try to help subsidize it with, um, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah. But maybe, I'm excited about leave. it because I'm happy to pay for him to take the extra away. I, I, I. Excuse me. Is there any way that we might be able to get the uh, Center for Agricultural Economy get involved in it? And maybe they could have a drop-off center located down where the community farm is now or the garden? There was, that was brought up at a town meeting, oh, two, three years ago. Um, but nobody ever, it never happened. So if you want to jump on that, you go, go right ahead. Um, but haven't we haven't had any luck um, making? No, but now now that um, Black Dirt Farm is talking about doing the pickup, maybe it would be possible to have some sort of uh, central location like that. Who knows? Yeah, well, I, mean, I think they. Yeah, very possibly. I mean, and they're composting have, down there anyway. Yeah. And then you have somebody to do the pickup. Yeah. Yeah. So, Michael, that was something that Lucian. Uh, tried to work on and he just had trouble getting people involved. Um, but I think it's still something out there to figure out some place where people could go to drop off their compost stuff that they can't, you know, food scraps type compost, because otherwise you have to take it all the way to all metals or you have to compost it yourself in your yard. And, you know, there's lots of people who, uh, you know, older people or whatever that just, they're just not going to do that. It's just too hard to do. So I would I, be glad to at least have some conversations about it with people down at the community garden. I do utilize the community garden as well. And yeah. so I definitely am at least familiar with the players, so to speak, down there. Yeah, I'd be glad so to have those conversations. It's a great idea. I suggest you get in touch with Lucian and just see what he 
was able to do and he might give you some pointers and then you could run with it. Absolutely, thank you. Mm -hmm. Jerry, you had two things. And then the other thing was, I don't know if people noticed, but the VLCT, the Select Board Institute this year, oh, yeah. you know, they always do trainings. Um, I've gone um, a couple of, I think three times over the last crazy number of years that I've been on the Select Board. It's always interesting, their updates on how we do things and how, what the rules are and stuff like that. Um, this year, of course, it's a webinar. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Um, which means you don't have to drive to Montpelier and go to the capital, you know, you don't get a nice lunch, but um, <laughs> it is a really nice lunch. But um, uh, yeah, so it's on March 24th at 9 a.m. Casey and, tracked down this, uh, it's essential training for new and returning select board members. Casey had tracked this down, so we right. have the information and I'll push it to Gary and uh, Michael. So we'll have, you'll have it in your inboxes so you can have a look at this. The town <clears throat> does cover the registration cost for you all. Yeah. There's a registration cost. That was the next thing, Sean. Yeah, that I was just going to say, mention that that for us, that the town covers it and it's a good thing to do. I'm going to see if I can't figure out whether or not I can do it too. It just means Daryl has to work all day. Sean, could you add me to that list as well? There wasn't one last year when I joined the board because we were in the throes of COVID. Right. right. And I haven't been to one in a while. I would like to go hey, if I can. It's a party. I think they're oh, really cool. good. They're super informational. It's really great. Um, yeah, yes, we'll push. We'll push it along to everybody. All right, that's and it. so that's all I got. great. Um, can I? Yes, I don't remember when we. Yeah, do you sign up for that individually when the town pays, or or would we ask Sean's office to sign us up? I think. I think. Casey can probably register us. I think that's what happened in the when I went. Yeah, I don't think we have to pay um, per person either. I think. Um, yeah, it may be different with the webinar versus the in person thing because you know part of what you're paying for was that lunch. Yeah, it says it's forty eight bucks for passive capital. members. Yeah. Yeah, I can look into that tomorrow. We'll get the information out to you, and then I'll find out how the billing works and if I can just sign you guys up, whoever decides to, and right. I can just do it as one, I can let you know. Great, thanks. All right, any other select board reports, old business or new business? Eric, can I just, uh, for our two new members, we're in the process of getting your uh, Hardwick VT emails set up. So I'll double check with our website coordinator in the morning. I don't know if you've received the uh, directions from uh, Maya McCoy as of yet or not, but just keep they an eye on your... Sent. Okay, great. Mine so, is actually already set up and running okay, everything. Very good. Fine. All right, Gary, so just will, keep an eye on will that. It, will it next week when my secret service and the limo start showing up or... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we all good. <laughs> well, yeah, we do is... Yeah, go ahead and get it set up because what we got to do here, obviously, is we just try to keep the uh, town business going to that uh, hardwickvt.org email. So that's all. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Um, this may come up and if we do that VLCT training, but the one, one um, strong, one thing that should be a strong personal motivator to keep the town business on the town email is that in the event of either um, a legal action or a public records request that resulted in needing to pull stuff that was handled in email. If you handle everything in your town email account, that's all you have to give over. If you are using your personal email account, then there's a potential that you have to, you know, hand over your personal email to somebody. So it's important to keep it on the town email um, account. <clears throat> And then uh, do you want to say something about open meeting like the reply all thing is not um, not uh, the best way to deal with uh, our select board emails? Uh, yeah, so right. So yeah, probably everybody knows, but Vermont has um, pretty strong open meeting laws and the intent is really that all the um, not just municipal, but all the public bodies in the state, when they do their business, they need to do them in a meeting that's open to the public. 
So um, way back when the laws were crafted, that just meant, you know, there's all these things about warning the meetings in public places and you have to have them, you know, where, where you say you're going to have them, when you're going to have it, when you say you're going to have them. But then with the advent of email and other technology, it also becomes important that we don't start any discussions on email or other digital platforms, like select board discussions that really should happen in a in this open meeting setting where the public can participate. So it gets a little slippery sometimes because sometimes you have something that you just want to share with the whole board. And so the way to deal with that is if you need to, you can email it out to the whole board, but then as a board, when you get those things, you should try not to reply in a way that starts a discussion, if that makes sense. Or so, only reply to the sender or so that you're right. not replying all because that, that suggests that it's a discussion. These right. are issues that would definitely be covered as a part of that uh, upcoming VLCT training if folks just are not familiar with these processes. So it, it may be a good idea to take part in that if you can work it in your schedule. <clears throat> I know from the town manager's office, if we're doing updates to the board, uh, just as a standard practice, um, you know, I'll occasionally be doing the reminder of just here's here's some information. We can't discuss it via an email exchange. We will discuss this at the next select board meeting. You know, so we just are constantly reminding ourselves about the procedures, if you will. And I believe this is why a community in the islands got in trouble uh, this town meeting day and they had to postpone their town meeting because of this particular situation of exchanging information electronically. And it was determined to be a violation of the open meeting law. So it's, oh, really? it's a real I've thing. Heard that. It's a real hmm. thing. All right, so, and thanks to the wonders of HCTV, this gets broadcast out. So even though it doesn't look like we have much of an audience online tonight, um, people can be watching and they can watch it later recorded and we can go back and look at it. So that's a beautiful thing too. All right, any other select board reports, old business, new business? All right, I say, I say let's adjourn. So thank you, everyone. Everybody have Thanks, a good everybody. night. Thanks, guys. Have a good night. <laughs>